Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning to customize this Kuku Harajuku doll. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. I really like their big heads and cute features. So let's start and see where it's gonna take us. I got many comments and suggestions to make a candy themed doll. So I decided to be inspired by these little cupcakes that I made a long time ago out of polymer clay and use them in the doll design. In this video, I'm gonna skip the eye carving process and how I remove the factory paint, but you always can check it out in my butterfly fairy video. The doll is ready for the repaint. I sprayed her three times with Mr. Super Clear and now I'm gonna start the face up. As always, I'm making the first lines with watercolor pencils and then I will go in with acrylic paint. Many doll artists that I know usually have very particular sketch of the doll and of the design and how they want it to look. And somehow it never works for me. I usually have a very general idea of color palette and it always changes in the process. And all my decisions about her design are made while I'm working. So for her, I want to use lots of pastel colors and all the um, polymer clay sweets that I made for my Blythe dolls actually. So as you can see, she has a pink eyeliner and I am planning to make some under eye um, drippings and everything gonna be about cupcakes. And by the way, did you saw the question mark on the thumbnail? There's gonna be a surprise in this video you're gonna see it very soon. I'm making the drippings now with acrylic paint and after it will be dry, I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear. And here comes the surprise. Yep, another doll. So I find this girl in my drawers and I decided that I'm gonna add her to the cupcake team. I want them to be the opposite colors. So one girl will be pink and the other will be blue. Both of them are going to have a cupcake headpiece, so I decided to add some drippings on their foreheads. Now don't forget, every time you're satisfied with the process, seal your doll with Mr. Super Clear and let it dry completely I leave it usually for one hour. I'm gonna give them eyebrows and then add some blushing to their faces. For the blushing, I'm using chalk pastels and after that, I will seal their faces again with Mr. Super Clear. adding some freckles and our face up is mostly done. Mm -hmm. 
I seal the dolls one last time and meanwhile I'm gonna make the eyes. For one doll I chose mint color and for the other light purple. I'm painting the eye base with acrylic paint and after it will dry I will fill it with glitter. I'm covering the eyeliner and the lips with Liquitex gloss varnish now. And with the help of the same Liquitex gloss varnish, I'm adding some glitter to the eyeliner and the drippings. As I always say, there is no such thing as too much glitter. I'm a huge fan. Here we go. Our girls are ready for the eyes and the eyelashes. The glitter in the eyes is dry and now I'm gonna fill it with Lisa Pavelka UV gel and put it for 10 minutes under UV lamp. But before that, let's glue on the eyelashes. I'm using the Gemtech glue for that. You can use any fake eyelashes that you like. Just make sure that they're not too long for the doll that you're customizing. I usually cut them to small pieces and then glue them one by one. This process can be tricky and demands time and practice, but don't be discouraged, just keep practicing. Her eyelashes are done, and now I'm gonna do the same thing for this doll. Here we go. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna fill the eyes with this Pavelka UV gel and put them under UV lamp. Usually 10 minutes, can be more. The eyes are in the making and I just wanted to show you the hair that I made for the dolls. I made these hair wefts out of acrylic yarn and now I need to decide who gets what. The decision was made. And once again, I want to try on them my Blythe doll clothes. I needed these specific sweaters but you can find many options of clothes and socks and shoes on AliExpress. The eyes are ready, so let's try them on.
looking good and fits great. This is size 14. I will attach the eyes with the help of permanent putty glue that I bought on Amazon.com and we'll be right back. The eyes are in, now I'm going to close the heads and start gluing the hair wefts with a hot glue gun. I'm going to skip this process in this video because I showed it a few times in my previous ones. As you can see, I chose to glue the wefts this way so the hair will go up because I have some design in my mind for the rest of the head. I am experimenting right now, but my idea is to make some kind of designs with these little braids that I made out of yarn. Let's see where it's going to take us. And of course, let's not forget the cupcake that I want to glue to her head. The main part of this doll design is on, so now we can move to the braids. I basically just go with the flow. suspicion that I'm gonna need many more braids. I love the results so far. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. More braids please! I'm telling you guys, the person that invented hot glue gun was a genius and a life savior. Okay, here we go. Now I just need to figure out how to close the little gaps and we can move to the other doll. I did the same thing with her and now I just need to choose a cupcake for her headpiece. Let's go with this one. By the way, let me know in comments if you would like me to make a video how do I make these little cupcakes and other polymer clay sweets. And now it's time to do my thing with the braids. I hope I made enough of them. That's a good start, looks very cute. I have to say it, I love improvisation and I love the results, but we are not done yet. I still need to figure out how to cover all these little empty spots. The solution was found in the most unexpected place. I discovered this, um, I believe they called foam beads for slime in my daughter's drawers and they were perfect. I glued them to the doll's head with jam tack and they look adorable like little candies, literally.
Yes, they are ready. And I think they look awesome. I style the hair and I just love the braids. I should do it more often with my dolls. And they look very candy themed, right? Close time. I decided to decorate these sweaters with these glittery tulle pom-poms that I'm going to make. And for that, I'm going to cut strips and then sew them into little pom-poms. Sewing is not my thing, but I'm definitely trying my best. It's ready, so now let's dress her up. These Blythe doll socks are a little big on her, but still look very cute. And our first cupcake girl is ready. While making these dolls, I was constantly thinking if they're gonna fit on the Blythe doll stands that I made a while ago. And guess what? They did. It's perfect for them, actually. I have the suspicion that it will also work for regular sized Monster High dolls and Ever After High dolls. So if you would like me to make a video how to make these stands, let me know in the comments. Our pink cupcake girl is also ready. I did the same thing for her clothes and put blithe socks and shoes on her and they fit her great. I couldn't leave this cuteness without her own stand, so here it goes. Another candy stand that I made a while ago for my blithe dolls. I want to show you both those together, so just for the video, I'm gonna put both dolls on one stand. These two adorable cupcake girls are ready and I had so much fun making them. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell button so you will be updated for the next ones. And of course, feel free to leave comments. I really enjoy reading them. And you also can follow me on my Instagram page to be updated for more projects that I'm doing and other interesting stuff. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.